You're listening to BFM 89.9, the business station. Good afternoon. You are with Shazmin Shamsuddin and on Living and Health this evening. I'm speaking about running as a regime. Yes, in studio with me are Kwan Kin Yu, Head of Compliance at Standard Chartered Bank Malaysia, and also Kanan Murugasin. He's a personal trainer and owner of mobile fitness concept company Mission Fee. Welcome to the show, guys. Thank you. Shazmin. Yes. Hi, Shazmin. Hi, Kanan. I, mean, I understand that you've actually taken part in seven Ironman triathlon competitions. Mm. And uh, you've also um, raced the Canada Individual Ultraman race, and you you got into twelfth place. This is in two thousand and seven. That's amazing. I mean, that you've completed the race. I hear it was a really hard race. How how do you get started? If you know, for example, your average Joe. You obviously are an athlete and yes. professional. If you're an average Joe and you want to take mm-hmm. up running as part of a health program or exercise regime, how do you mm-hmm. get started? In fact, it was um, eight-time Ironman by now. <laughs> oh, oh well, by anyway, now, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, li- the last one was just a couple just, of... Just uh, f- last February, uh, yeah, the, the two, two months, months ago. ago. Yeah. Well, anyway, um, I'm, I don't have an um, athletic background, so that makes it a lot, uh, a lot of difference. Where I just started about 10 years ago from not knowing how to run a 10-kilometer run. Mm-hmm. And doing an ultra-distance uh, triathlon, which involves a 10-kilometer swim... 418-kilometer bike and 84-kilometer run. Yeah, now you're just showing off. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, what I'm trying to say here is anyone uh, anyone can actually do a marathon or 10-kilometer run because mm-hmm. I've proven that you don't have to be an athlete right? Uh, or have any kind of background, uh, athletic background. Because so anyone can do that. Yes. Okay, can you, what are your comments? Are you uh, a marathon runner? You are, right? Um, quite far from it, actually. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, but I've, I've done a marathon and I, I don't really have an illustrious uh, career or achievement as, as Kanan has. <laughs> um, I've, I've trained, I've, I've ran in marathon before mm-hmm. um, last year and it was quite, it was quite uh, interesting because I had to train quite hard for it as well. Um, basically, I had to ran. I uh, ran about ten kilometers uh, every day mm-hmm. uh, for about two months, uh, leading up to the marathon. Wow! Um, that was that was really a good uh, experience altogether. Right. Um, definitely hoping to try it all over again. Okay. Uh, in, in the coming KL marathon. Right. The standard chart at KL marathon is coming up real soon, and uh, well, <laughs> you're starting. Y- you you've been in training for a while now, haven't you? Th- there's a saying, you know, the ancient Greeks believe that a healthy mind and a healthy body not just go together, but they're critical for happiness and a successful life. Meaning, of course, that if there's a weakness in one area, it would affect the other. Do you feel this is true? Can you? Yeah, I think uh, in life, it's all about balance. Um, I think uh, you need to work hard and uh, you need to achieve your goals. Mm -hmm. Um, Obviously, your goals would include uh, your personal goals as well, which in this aspect is your health. Um, I um, and I strongly believe that there has to be a balance between work and and, and, and play. play. Yeah. Right. So running marathons is that play for you? Can you? Yeah. I mean, um, I'm quite passionate about running. Um, at this moment, I'm only doing it on weekends mm-hmm. uh, due to work commitments. Uh, but I'll try. I try to run uh, at least ten kilometers every weekend. Wow, that's a lot yes. of kilometers. Yes. Kanan, you yeah. know, y- you mentioned earlier that you don't have to be an athlete to start, but should yeah. you have some? level of fitness well the only level of fitness is you go to a doctor and check if you're clear of any medical condition if you're going to do a 5k or 10k right just get yourself cleared uh, from any medical condition you can start by walking okay as simple as walking breeze walking and then moving on to a maybe four minutes walking and one minute run and then four minutes walking one basic stuff very basic stuff just and then by weekly you increase uh, you know instead of Mm -hmm. three minutes walking two minutes run something like that that's for minimal who those who are not fit at all okay and then yeah eventually you can actually finish a 10k or a 21k how how a lot how many months would it take though well um by the book for you uh, to build up your fitness you know by the book if you're going to do a full marathon you need about nine months six six to nine months of full training um very regimented uh, training if you want to finish in a very nice comfortable pace okay that is but for a 10k like uh, now i think uh, june 28 is three months away 10 kilometer is a is a good uh start for anyone who is gonna you know don't have any athletic background or 
uh, any fitness at all or whatsoever, right. three months is very, very nice for a 10K. Okay, so, so you start slowly, but try to build yes, up to that. Yeah, yeah? there's a rule, uh, you add 10 to 15% a week mm-hmm. of the time that you're going to do. You start off with 20 minutes, say, and then you add about 10% to that time weekly, and you get very comfortable. That's all. I didn't know there was math involved. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, oh. a little bit of that. Oh, I tell you. Okay, <laughs> what if you feel you're overweight, totally unfit? I mean, is this going to be an issue if you decide that you want to train for a marathon? Uh, well, look on the positive side. Mm-hmm. If you're overweight, if you have a goal to finish a marathon, by the time that you finish training, you will actually lose your weight. Right. Maybe not all, it. but you know, three yeah, months. Yeah, at least, <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. Okay, is there yeah. an age limit, kind of? I mean, if you're 50 or 60, generally in good health? Uh, not at all, actually. In fact, if you want to know, um, in Hawaii, the Ironman itself, the oldest participant was 85 years old. Wow. Yeah, so that's an Ironman. So in marathon, you have a lot of people. Some of them started about 50 or 60 years old. They mm-hmm. started at 50. They probably had time only after yes, 50 yes. to make running So a as long as you don't regime. have any medical condition, uh, no problems at all. You, you do a uh, proper weight training to um, cover your injuries whatsoever mm-hmm. and you know there's no problems at okay, all. Okay, interesting you yeah. should mention injuries because there are a lot of running related injuries. Yes. Well, we'll get to that in a bit. <laughs> yeah. We don't want to okay. put people off, right? <laughs> so, can you how did you get started? I mean, you're a young man. You look relatively fit. <laughs> yes. I don't see any, you know, pouch on, p- paunch on you. <laughs> how did you get started? I mean, uh, well, I started with I started running in in line with the banks uh, program, I think, okay. uh, because actually Standard Chartered stand, uh, sponsors a lot of marathons around the world. Mm-hmm. So uh, when did you get started? I started in two o five. My f- the first marathon that I participated in was the Singapore Marathon in o five. Um, actually, I started in ten with ten kilometers. Uh, as Kanan has suggested, you know, um, right. the idea is to start with at least ten. Well, how many months did you get to train for that <laughs> before you, you um, entered? Honestly, I didn't really train for it, but okay. I, I just thought that to, ha- do it. to, have, a yeah. go- to have a go at it. Uh, obviously, one of the values that the bank uh, professes is to be courageous. And uh, I was just trying to have a go at running it, running well, the 10K. Okay. Uh, can you mention <laughs> what number you came in at? Um, lot, I finished in <laughs> about an hour and five minutes, which <laughs> I thought <laughs> was not bad. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah. It yeah. was very good for a first 10 kilometer marathon. Yeah. Now, how has running benefited you in your personal and your work capacity? It's it's a form. Well, it's a form of uh, exercise, obviously, um, and um, you feel rejuvenated after mm-hmm. running, and you f- you feel fresh. Um, especially after running, um, obviously in a day-to-day life, there's a lot of stress, and and I, I it's it's a form of de-stressing as well. Right. Okay. I, I think. Cool. <laughs> 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 but you don't get to run every day, though, do you? I yeah. mean, your 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 schedule is such right that you only get to run on the weekends. Yeah. At the, at the moment, I'm only running on weekends. Uh, but in the past, I I do get to run during lunchtime. Mm-hmm. Um, if you join a gym and if you're part of a gym, then you can actually go go to the gym during lunchtime and then, you know, just get a quick bite right after that. And okay. it's, it was part of my regime, but uh, not at this moment. Okay. Um, I have an email here mm-hmm. from Susan. She wants to know... Um, <laughs> We'll get back to that actually <laughs> a little bit later, but, uh, you know, equipment. Remind me to ask you about equipment, all right? Okay. Sure. But right now, I want to find out, Kanan, mm-hmm. is running well... Mm. And fast, a skill, or is it a talent that you're born with? Something you know inherent in you. Um, I can't really um, say that as a fact because you know the Kenyans. Everybody knows the Kenyans run the fast. Mm-hmm. Maybe they were born with it, but I do believe that if you train right, eat right, and uh, it could be possible to for you to go for fast. It. Yes. Yes. Right. I mean, I'm not talking about fast. Running well, I suppose running distance, running at a good pace without, you know, well, That over. comes with training. Yeah. That comes with training and training. proper training. And uh, in fact, uh, a lot of people think that running is about just run as fast as you 